group with anymore. It's the whole group sort of had a falling out, unfortunately. But sometimes people are in your life for the time they're meant to be, and then that's okay when they're not. Um, but one of them introduced me to the concepts of uh, boasts, toasts, and oaths. That's what it is. Yeah, boasts, toasts, and oaths. Um, and I know it's a little bit hard to do maybe over a streaming capacity, but you know I'm gonna try to do it a little bit here, and we'll see how it works out. Um, and maybe you can bring it to whatever party you go to tonight or gathering or not, if you don't like it. But basically it is sort of go around in a circle. Again, we can't really do this on stream. Um, where the first thing you say is, um, you know, you, you boast about something that, you know, you did this year that you accomplished and you achieved or something you're the best at. Something you can, um, it's actually, you know, it's, hold on, it's the reverse. It's toasts, boasts, and oaths. Sorry, so toasts are you go around and you toast to people and you say like, I wanna point out, you know, like Austin, you're in chat. So if I was in a group with Austin, I'd be like, Austin, uh, this toast goes to Austin. Austin has made so many strides this year, personally and professionally, and has made a big move across many miles to find community and love and friendship and you know, all these things, all while supporting her friends and lending them a shoulder to cry on when they need it. To Austin, we all go, to Austin, and we take a drink. And that was back in the days when I drank, and so it was literally like mead out of a drinking horn, but in this case, yeah, I'll do kombucha and coffee. Um, so we all go around and like toast each other. And then the next one is um, boasts. And so that's when you would say something, you're like, this year I accomplished this. I was in this many voice acting roles and I know a thousand people submitted to this, but I'm the one who booked it. Like you're supposed to be boastful or it could even be Viking coded. Yeah, it's all very Viking coded. Um, or it could be something like, I know in this room, I'm the best at Smash Bros. No one here can beat me at Smash Bros. And then if someone in the room feels like they could, they're like, let's go. And you know, you do that. And then finally oaths is um, basically new year's resolutions of like, this is what I promised to you all that by the time we meet here next, um, I will be doing this, or this will have happened. That is my oath to you. And we're gonna check in next year when we're all safely here again, drinking out of this horn here. Isn't that great? I love that so much. Um, so I will start us off with two toasts, two toasts. And I don't know how else we go from here. Um, but toast number one, is to this community at large, the clever coup uh, self represented by this glorious battle pigeon. Um, clever coop, every single time I stream for y'all, it is a joy and it is a delight. You have been here now with me for five years. Um, whether you've just joined or you've been here since the very beginning, it's been five years with this community. And I think something so special is that the vibe has only gotten better. It's amazing to me that people join this community and pop in for the first time and just say, oh, this community is so nice. This is the internet. This is live streaming on the internet. That's not supposed to happen. We're not supposed to be able to, as a community, be this chill without issue. And yet, here we are. And time and time again, you know, while we found the balance between people, you know, sort of trauma dumping in the chat versus like being robots, you know, we've we are still able to talk about our lives and things like that. I think it's incredible watching everybody's individual journeys here. Like not trying to be parasocial. I know we don't truly, truly know each other, but sometimes you see the same names and someone will check in and they're like, eh, I really want to do this thing. And then a month later, they're like, I did the thing. And we all get to celebrate together. And I think that's so cool. I think it's such a common thing for streamers to be like, yeah, my community's focused on like positivity and mental health. And that's just a thing to say. And it bums me out because this community so is, and it really is that. Um, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and time it. Yeah, you're very nice, but you can't keep asking the same question over and over and over. Um, we're in the middle of something here. Um, so uh, toast number two is the dear moderators. The moderators are individual human beings like the rest of us with lives and jobs and families and friends and social things and not social things and all this good stuff. And yet I have always felt so comfortable streaming um, and I could not do that without their help. Um, this is a volunteer thing that they do. 
um they don't get anything out of it other than the satisfaction of being a part of this community and helping it be a thing so shout out to the mods who care so deeply um and i just i so appreciate you um as individuals as a group as one solid unit and team that gets this sort of vibe getting to continue safely uh, i appreciate you so much um so thank you mods so to the coop and to the mods here here cheers cheers do i go get do i go get a drinking horn and put the kombucha in this do i go do that i'm gonna i'm gonna do a one minute poll do i go do i spend the time to get the drinking horn Okay, that's a one minute poll right there. Start poll, one minute poll. Um, hey, in the meantime, everybody please give a sparksly. Clever Coop, welcome to uh, Ryan L. Rage and Lady B Games. Thank you very much, very much. What's a drinking horn? Uh, it is a horn that you drink out of. That's it. Um, kombucha horn, why not? Yeah, I guess, yeah, it's, it's fermented, so. Don't let the microbes grow in the horn. Hey, I would never do that, Captain. Is it real or like plastic? I'm pretty sure it's real. I don't know. It was given to me as a Christmas gift many years ago, and I don't know what it is. Oh, that's almost 100%. Yes. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go get that drinking horn. I'm going to be I'm gonna be right back. I'm going to be right back. Um, where's the picky posted? It's in general chat, Adelia Bedelia, but people may have posted over it because... We do be talking, and that's okay. Um, all right, that's a that's a strong ass. I'm gonna go get the drinking horn. I'm gonna be right back. I'm scared of what it looks like. Uh, think of like a horn. There you go. All right. Like a trumpet? No, not like a. We're talking like the horn of a beast, the horn that falls off when you when it's horn fall off season and it grows back, like a bull horn. Well, again, that could be a sound making thing. We're talking like a yeah, but it's not like a shofar. If I had to guess, if I had to guess by looking at it, water buffalo is my guess, but we'll see. Okay, we'll be right back. 